Hello and welcome to a new video. In today's video we are going to build a audio oscillator. Now this is not something I've come up with actually. This is something that Look Mom No Computer came up with. And I saw his video and he was building this thing uh, and I think it's super cool. That's why I'm making it. But when I saw the video I felt like it was a little bit confusing and it's very simple, easy little DIY thing, so uh, he, he's right about that, but he um, used strip board, which if you don't know is board that you can work on and it has strips of copper on it. And uh, I think that's probably the best way to build this, but I'm not sure it's the best way to build this if you want to show people how to build it. Maybe it doesn't make any sense, but I saw a lot of comments on the video with people who were confused of how to make it, so I thought perfect little DIY experiment for me to try and build this. I am not really good with synths and things like that. Um, I don't really know how they work. I'm more of a pedal builder, but this is so simple that even I can build it. So even you can build it. And so in today's video, we are going to build it. I'm building mine a little bit different. I'm using a different transistor than him and I'm using a transistor that allows me to actually make this into a 9 volt battery or whatever you want to call it powered little device so if you want to build this and follow along with my instructions you can do so but if you feel like you would rather watch his things i will link the video that i'm using in the description below so that you can go and check that one out and yes hopefully this is helping someone who wants to build something cool and interesting because this is actually fun and if it doesn't help you then you can go watch his video and hopefully you will find the information you need you can obviously talk to me in the comments below if you have any questions of what i'm doing in the video or if you're building this and you're not getting it to work you can uh, send me pictures over at instagram if you feel uh, that that might help and uh, yeah maybe we can figure it out together but anyway let's jump into building this super tiny cute little thing uh, i've already made it Right here it is, and you can see it's super tiny, and it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six little components that you need to get, so not much at all, and that's a little bit of the reason why I feel like you don't necessarily need to build it out on a board, unless you really want to, obviously, then you can do that, but it's super easy, so yes, let's just jump into it now, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay. So in order to build this, you're going to need a potentiometer and you need a 10k potentiometer. You're going to need an LED, which I have right here. You're going to need a 1k resistor right there. And you're going to need a 100k resistor right there. You're going to need a 10 nanofarad capacitor, which I have right there. And then you're gonna need a transistor which is right here now this is a bc337-16 transistor that's the name of it and if you zoom in real closely you can see it's written right there and if you want to build what i'm building you're gonna have to use this you can experiment with different values and different capacitors and the only thing you have to understand here is that in his it sits like that but in mine it's gonna sit like that because the two outer legs are flipped on the one he is using in his video in comparison to the one i'm using right here so now we can get started the first thing we're going to do is prepare some of the parts and we're going to start off with the transistor and bend the two outer legs out like this just so that they stick out and then we're going to cut the middle leg off as close to the body as we can without damaging anything. The next thing we need to prepare is the capacitor and we just need to bend the legs out like this. The next thing is we're just going to bend the legs out a little bit like this on the LED. And then we're going to take our pot right here and we are going to pre-tin. If you have the pot upside down like this, then this is the leg we are going to pre-tin. Like so. Now we can take our 1K resistor and we can push it in through the first leg over here, like so, and bend it into a little hook 
which I hope you can see that I'm doing, and feed it back through the other leg. And once you're happy with the way it's lying right there, we can pin this leg shut so that the resistor is connected. And once we're happy with that, we can also tin the middle leg, where the leg is coming out. Just pull it somewhat tight and neat so that the wire isn't touching anything else. Then hooking those two legs together. We can cut off the excess on this one and put this to the side because we don't need it right now. The next thing we're going to do is going to be a little bit fiddly. We're going to take our transistor and we're going to take our 100k resistor and we're going to twist these two legs together with the positive of the capacitor like so. So if you look closely here you can see that the flat side its leg is connected to the same side as the positive and the minus side here is facing away like so. And now you can solder them together and cut the excess off and we'll bring our potentiometer back in and with a little bit of solder on the tip we'll feed this thing through here and connect it like so. So all those three are connected to the last leg right there. Now if we flip on this to the other side like so and we take our LED and we take the negative leg and we put it together with the negative leg of the capacitor like so and I know it looks a little bit fiddly but hopefully you understand what it is I'm showing you. You can solder it together and cut off the excess. You can flip it around and bend the LED upwards and solder the positive leg to the other leg of the transistor and cut off the excess. And here we have it, it's basically done. You can just trim these legs a little bit. And now we have to attach four wires. And if you look where the LED and the capacitor is sitting, you will put down two ground wires. And one of the ground wires will go to the jack, that is the DC jack, where the power goes in, and the other one will go to the jack, that is the plug-in jack, where you plug it into your amp or speaker. It's a 100k resistor, will get a blue wire, or whatever color you like, and that one is going to the out of the audio jack together with one of the black wires. And then at the 1K resistor, we'll put a red wire or whatever you want. And that one will be connected to the DC. And you're done. You can play with it and have fun. Or you can do what I do and you can build five of these. So here I have four and here's the fifth. And I'm going to put them in a box. And since it's Christmas, I'm going to put it in this box. I've already drilled the holes and put the jacks in it. So, let's do that now. So let's start with all the ground wires. Now, I've removed the two ground wires here and kept only one. And that's because I have all these and all the ground wires need to go together. So I might as well just put one ground wire on every one. There is one. And here is one. And here is another one, and then here is the last one. Now I can just pull all these together, and I can cut them off, and I can just tin them together. So I'm gonna just strip all these back, and I'll be back. And then once you've connected all the ground wires together so that everything is grounded, because you need to have ground, you can connect two ground wires that will go to the two positions that needs to have ground. And I'm using a one cable that has two cables in it. And that's because it's super easy to use these sorts of cables. I can just split it with my fingers down the middle here. But we're not really there yet. Now we need to connect the 1k resistor, the red wires. So we just need to do the same thing, which is just pre-tin some wires and have a little bit of tin on your soldering iron and then just nestle these in here like so and then the next 1k resistor 
And then once all of the input wires are connected to one long, we need to attach the 100k blue wires. Every 100k we need blue wires that are all coming together and meeting up. So all of the red ones are the positive power going together to one cable. And the blue is the output signal, all of the blue going together to one. And then we have ground connection and this one can be split as I show you. I hope this isn't too crazy, but if you saw the beginning of the video and you didn't skip through, you should be able to tell that you're just building all of these the same and then you basically put them together. Uh, I hope this makes sense. I, I understand if, if, if someone doubts the understanding parts or something. But now I'm just going to strip back the plastic on these wires so that I can put a little bit of solder on them. And then, as you probably can see, I have the two jacks that need wires going to them all already in place. And all we should do is connect four wires. It's going to be super easy to do. Okay, so let's begin right here. And yes, this is going to be fiddly and all of that, I know, I know. But let's just begin with connecting ground wire and a lead wire to this jack, which you should already know how to do because you built a bunch of guitars and pedals before. And now you know how to do these things. So I'm just connecting a lead wire there. There. I don't know what happened. I got some weird kind of accent going. And the ground wire right here. Like so. And then over here, the last leg gets this wire right here. And the big leg right there gets this ground wire. Like so. And everything is connected. Now we should just be able to pull up these a little bit and just twirl them around like so and close up the box and i just want to point one thing out because you might uh, wonder or something in the comments i put the leds the way i did where i basically put them on the opposite side so that i could push them through so now i have the leds here and they might be a little bit difficult to see actually sticking through there and that one is for this one and that's for that and that's for that. so they should be lighting up and things so we just plug in the guitar cable right there and the power in there and as you hopefully can see it starts to flicker and then we can start the amp and I don't know if you can hear it but there it is adjusting the amp a little bit so that I can talk a little bit while making some of these noises. It's very loud. Um, yeah, I'm using just a tiny little practice amp right now, uh, a 9 volt battery practice amp, and it's just because it's a little bit convenient for an experiment like this to just do something like that. And uh, yeah, it allows me to talk to you while I'm doing this. I don't really know what I'm doing, so yeah. That sounds pretty cool. But I, I gotta be honest with you, I don't know how to make music with this. So uh, yeah, maybe someone else knows how to do something so yeah and there's a bunch of things we could add to this uh, as you can see from the inside 
there isn't that much going on and there's a lot of space for a bunch of funny things so yeah if you guys uh, have any suggestions of what to put in and um, then yeah i'm thinking of a kill switch for each one so that it's like a backwards piano thing maybe that could be fun you know you press it down and that kills the signal so it's like a piano that when you press down instead of making a sound it kills the sound but yeah uh, i don't know there it is anyway there you have it it's done it's finished and yes it's going in the background i don't know if you can hear it it is a lot of fun i feel like just moving these around will 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 give me creative juice things but yes here it is if you have any questions uh, or if you want to talk to me about it do so in the comments below and yeah thanks so much for watching if you have any thoughts about this um so yeah i want to thank look mom no computer so much for this fun little thing that he uh, inspired me to make and i hope that there is no one out there who thinks that i dislike him or his videos or that i'm doing this for any weird reason other than that i felt a little bit confused after watching the video felt like it was something that i could help out with a little bit maybe and if it did help you out if you feel like uh, it was helping you out uh, great uh, let me know in the comments below if this was um, done in a way where you felt like you understood what I was doing. And uh, yeah, I hope this is a good video. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough now. And I need to go and do some weird Christmas music with this. Because it's Christmas. Really, really soon it's crazy. And it is, you know, a Christmas box. I think I'm going to call this Santa's Little Helper. But... I don't know if you have a better name let me know in the comments below if you want to but anyway yes that's the end of this video if you wouldn't mind pressing the like button the subscribe button ring the bell for notification which is something i always forget to say which is maybe the reason why you think this is the first video i've seen when it's actually the fourth please do those things i appreciate it very much and if you want to you can also follow me on instagram and talk to me there if you want to you don't have to obviously but there could be some benefits from doing that like for example if you build something that you see in one of my videos and you feel like you need help uh, and you want me to take a look at what you've done so far we've had a lot of success i don't think that i've spoken to anyone who's uh, i haven't been able to help at least somewhat so um yeah but anyway until next time stay awesome and cool and if you want to Go and build one of these things. I hope my video helped you in achieving uh, whatever it is you need to make one of these. Uh, and if you want to, you could also watch the video provided by Look Mom No Computer. It's a really, really fun uh, video. And he has a bunch of other weird, crazy videos where he puts a hundred of these, I think it is, into one giant crazy thing. Uh, so yes, go and uh, take a look at those things. Bye-bye for now.